right. So, um, I have a really good comment uh, by this dude. And, uh, and he says that, um, what do you say? I'll go, let me just, uh, let me just load it up, right? So I can see it and I'll tell you. It's on the, it's on the thumbnail anyway. He goes, I don't know what his nickname, oh, it's, it's, it's <coughs> triple dollar sign D money gaming, triple dollar sign. Commented, how the heck did you edit watch mode back into MK1 and 2? Well, I'm about to show you, right? And the reason why I'm about to show you, um, is because I've been thinking about doing just some little help, um, helpful videos like this because I, I love Mugen. The, the people that make Mugen projects are fantastic. Um, I've sort of got my own little Mugen project I'm bumming around on, which is basically just kind of like a massive battle royale, just any and all characters you can possibly get. And, and people have already made that, so I, I may not even bother, right? Um, but anyway, so the the way the way that um, the way that uh, Mugen projects work is this: it's a basic uh, fighting game engine that people can put their own custom characters in stages, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They can take them from actual games or make their own characters or stages, uh, sound effects, uh, UI, so like you know, you know have health bars, look, everything like that. It's fantastic. It's really good. I've covered it covered a lot of games on this. I will continue to cover a lot of them on this channel. Um, so that way you guys have an archive. And of course, being a big Mortal Kombat fan, naturally I have a bunch of Mortal Kombat Mugen games and that's my entire list so far, right? But these is what I would consider my cream of the crop. These are the ones that to me are absolutely worthy of keeping on my computer. Now, the comment was, how do you edit the watch mode? Well, let's go into the one he was talking about because it was kind of difficult at first. Um, first and foremost, the file that you actually need to look for is system, so S-Y-S-T-E-M dot D-E-F, system dot def, right? And the way it looks is, let me find, uh, yeah, I think it'll be in here. So we'll go MK2. So this is what it looks like here. Right, system.dev, right? And when you open it up, okay, this is how it looks at the start. It all looks very confusing, okay? Um, but you just scroll down a little bit, right? And you'll come across, well, maybe it's a lot more than a little bit. Yeah, actually, no, I think I went past it. I'm a clown. There we go. Sorry, my bad. It was a little bit. I was right. Um, this part here with menu.item.arcade equals whatever name that is, right? And normally when you download a Mugen project, it will have most of these options made available. Some people uh, that make these projects specifically don't want you to have access to certain menu items. Maybe it's because they couldn't get it to work with a certain UI layout that they wanted to have, so it wouldn't have looked, looked good uh, selecting it. And, um, and so they, they remove it. The way they remove it is simply by deleting the name, so you've just got the uh, the two uh, inverted brackets, and that's it, right? So obviously, if you find the system.def and you find this part here, and the, the watch mode is empty, you simply type watch, go file, save, and then you're done. Now I understand his question, because if he's downloaded this and gone, hang on, there's no watch mode, I'm gonna get it, go edit it, I'll go into MK2. Oh, there it is. I'll just edit it there. No. Right? Sometimes the creators of these are a little bit smarter than the average bear. So essentially what it is, is you just either you can either do like a file search uh, for system.def and find all of them. Uh, or what I normally do, I'll do a little bit more old school. I'll actually just try other different folders and see whether or not it's been moved or replaced or made to be the primary source of information that the game is looking for when you run it. So, in this instance, um, from memory, because I, I changed them both to be sure, but I remember it was either this one or the one in X system that I changed. And um, either way, I made sure that both of them had watch in the watch part for the menu, right? And then I saved it, okay? And then I loaded the game up, all right? 
So that's the file, system.def. You right click on it, you go open with, you choose notepad or whichever sort of like wordpad, whatever, and then it will open up, you'll be able to read it, and you can come in and change the options however you like. As you can see here, Team Arcade's gone, Team Co-op isn't there, Team Versus isn't there. So you can actually take someone's project and modify it for yourself. So I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not modifying this um, for myself. I've got itchy back. Hang on. Best back scratcher, back scratcher ever. Right. Um, I'm not modifying this and then re-uploading it. Okay. A lot of projects out there they do that, and that's fine as long as you give, um, as long as you you give the proper nods and respect and, and uh, shout outs to the creators thus far. Um, so, but I don't do that. I just edit it for myself because when I want to do my, my watch videos uh, or when I review stuff, I like to have watch mode so that way I get to talk and not sort of worry about actually fighting. Um, so yeah, so unfortunately though, when you download it and it doesn't have say a menu setting enabled, uh, you'll have to go in and edit it yourself. But that's the file that you're looking for, system.def. Like I said, you right click, open with, I go notepad all the time and then I find this section here, and then if anything's missing that you like require, then pop it in there. And and what'll actually happen, um, for example, like, so let's, let's run, uh, let's run this, I'll move the window over. So I'll run Mortal Kombat 2, all right? And you do that for every version, by the way. So you come in, you go MK1, MK1 Mega Drive, MK2, MK2 Mega Drive, you do them all right to make sure all your bases are covered right uh oh it's actually gonna oh, i'll just find that i'll just do it do it the old, this way right so now i have watch mode there so if i if i didn't then it wouldn't exist and obviously uh you can go in and add in the other menu options if you want them there sometimes like with mortal kombat trilogy um i'll show you that one quickly uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, which one is it? Um, which was the groovy one that I got recently that was awesome? Thunder Edition, I think it was Thunder Edition. Was it this one? I'll just, I'll just double check, hang on a sec. Fix that screen back to there. I think it was this one actually. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll show you what happened. So, if they've made it so that the menu, for example, this, right? They've obviously done it in a way that gives you only access to what the actual, like, indentation options that you have available. So, you know, just Mortal Kombat, MK1, oh, sorry, 1 versus 1 combat training and options, right? But if you add in additional menu options, right, um, what will happen is this, right? So it'll actually just sort of give that glitch. That's actually watch mode right now. Uh, on this particular version. I keep pressing to the right or the left and then I get to my options that I come back around again, right? So naturally, um, there is no thing here saying watch, right? Because he's got a specific graphic for this menu. It's not using sort of like a, basically like the main sort of text menus that we do get in Mugen and slightly modified with a background. Um, so he's actually used the proper Mortal Kombat Trilogy uh, menu selection and that's why it appears this way but you can still have access to full watch mode regardless and this happens with all of them right i think i've managed to yeah i don't think i've had a mugen project yet that has made it so that i could not add in menu options for my you know uh for my game right so that's how you get watch mode back or anything back uh for mugen projects and um yeah that's that's um yeah, it's pretty cool. I've been wanting to cover that for a while. Sorry if I seem a little bit down. I've just got some little personal full-on stuff going on at the moment. Nothing, nothing like health-related, just uh, legal, legal stuff. So anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think, and I will catch you next time. See ya.